I think my Mexico is good. Boy, Diego Peace Car, Puro Street Mob, Puro Mafia de la Calle. Oh, yo! Look at this! Beautiful Monday. Is it though? Yeah. Hey, I got you your smokes in the morning. Yeah. I'm my boy Alonso Water. I got myself a water as well. Hey, this man cannot come outside without having a cigarette in his hand, huh? Let me smoke this. Let me smoke this cigarette. My, my morning, my, mor my breakfast. What's up with this though? Oh. Uh, this is uh, Nick's brand new R3. Like a couple weeks ago, saying I was gonna keep the S3. Wrong. We already looked green, so we did green all around and green stitching in the seats. <laughs> <laughs> Once the car or the truck senses that somebody's coming by and that I personally know them, it'll just open by itself. Smoke break though, or what? Of course, you made me flick my cigarette. I only got like two puffs. Oh, oh, smoke break. Smoke break. Um, hey, to the people complaining about Mexican music, we always play Mexican music in this jammy, bro. I knew it. Close basket, yes. This car's been washed in who knows how long. So everybody seemed to like that technical video, huh? I like it. Listen, there's nothing like the good old shit. My whole thing this year is just go back to what I used to do, what worked, what was fun, what was exciting. And that's what we're doing. So this vlog, we get the second half of that uh, transmission build. I saw you guys over there with Teal already. Somebody asked if it was really my uncle. Yeah, he really is my uncle. My mom's brother. He actually raised me. Um, yeah, just like my dad, damn near. So, um, but today, this car right here actually is uh, belongs to <clears throat> somebody that was a really good friend of mine that unfortunately passed away on New Year's Day. So uh, still gonna finish his car, go out there. He's, he wanted to go sevens with it, so I'm gonna fucking make sure uh, it goes seven for him. So last week was a little rough for me over it. So we're gonna start tuning it, make sure everything's fine. Like I said, this car's from Mexico, so. Uh, Make sure it's good. Let's get this party started. That's how you know it's coming straight from Mexico. Look at it. San Luis Potosí. There's a permit to be able to get across the border. Without this, I don't think they let you across the border. Verified and everything. Look at situation is that I'm out of whiskey spring. 55% duty cycle at 11 pounds of boost. I'm gonna make one more hit, but I already know I gotta have to. By the way, get one of your guys to swap springs out real quick. Why don't you wait till after one hit and let it cool off and it's cool and hot. Or why don't you have them, why don't you not do another hit if you know it's out of duty? Just one more. Well, it's just gonna get hotter and you're gonna have to wait longer, buddy. 
So what that is, for you guys that don't know, is you have a base operating pressure in the wastegate, okay? Rule of thumb is you get three times the amount of whatever the base is. So if you have 10, the over of back pressure isn't crazy. If you have a 10 pound wastegate spring, the max pressure is theoretically 30. Uh, this thing has a seven pound, and at 11 pounds, it's an 11% duty, uh, 55% duty cycle. So that means that 55% of my window is already used. So the chances of me hitting 25 pounds of boost is not gonna happen. I'm gonna make a hit anyways, and then I gotta have one of these guys change the spring and the wastegate from a seven to a 14. So I'll show you guys what happens then. He keeps yelling at me like if it is a flashlight. I used to have a seven. Yeah, no. Little baby seven. So now we're going to 14. Going, baby. This fucking car makes jam. A little bit of power. So this is considered essentially like an Elite 1500. It's exactly what the package is. Uh, it has a stage six transmission with the you know uh, build manifold. This has 64 millimeter turbos on it. So exactly what he paid for. It's exactly what he got. Getting good at this guessing game of always guessing 1500 horsepower. Huh? Another one? You better make another hit. It's a lot of jam, baby. I think I'm gonna shut it down right there. Oh yeah, that shit's loud, bro. Our boy, J.O.P.'s car, if you guys don't know who J.O.P. is, it's right here. Los mire con talento, los plebes han la van recio. Les propuse buena oferta para meternos al ruedo. Well, if I can actually perform at the wedding of the man who's holding this camera right now. No, I'm the photo. I'm right Ronald Struman. Oh, yeah. But uh, this is a Mac package. Audi R8 V10 Plus. Making around 1400 horsepower. Puro Street Mob. Puro Mafia de la Calle. Ah! One day, afternoon, I'm sitting here with fucking redhead, Cheeto head, hot mama boy, Cheeto, hot Cheeto and Curly comes over here and says, you got a box. This is CP Alex, Amazon. And I know what I order on Amazon because I ship everything home, so I quote it, pop it open, I'm like, no way. Well, here's the letter. Read it out, read it out. What is this? Mexican shoes, charms, fit. Oh, box. hell no! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo! Yo! This is the Mexican size. Who's man? <laughs> hey, those are fresh, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Bro, happy new year from Jake Ocean. Uh, Ocean. <laughs> hey, get that poster ready, Johnny. Get that poster. Yeah, I'll bring it tomorrow. Oh, all of a sudden, bring you don't yeah. even have it on deck. I'm gonna bring it tomorrow. Ready. I'm gonna bring it tomorrow. <laughs> I actually know Jake Ocean. Jake Ocean's actually a is friend it of mine. Jake Ocean's brother? Hey, hey that's fresh. That's pretty boy. comfy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told hey, you. Look at them chanclas. I can, uh, I just, this is what I'm going to slide into every day when I walk into work now. Yeah. So, as promised, uh, we got the poster in. I brought it back from, well, brought it from home. Um, shout out to Frank Ocean, right? Or, wait, what's his name? Wait, is Frank Ocean like some uh, like artist, right? <laughs> it was like something Ocean, like Ryan Ocean, something like that. You know? With all due respect, thank you for giving Alex a pair of Crocs. This is your brand new poster. We got a little bit of cough drops because your boy's under the weather. We got myself a little DS1. Your boy's on DS1 today. DS1's fun. A little bit more complex because uh, the way data logs and yada yada yada, but we, you know, we got our packages figured out. It's probably made 860 on the gate. Made 931, a little bit of boost. This is an SR1000 package, so I just need to hit. 69 more horsepower. That's a wrap. This car's going to a gentleman in NorCal. They had a DS1 R8 and had bad luck with the first guy. None of my business. So, let's see what we can do. Give me a minute. I did another hit on the gate. So 
makes 870 on the gate. So that means that's the lowest power I think will make. Um, so now I'm gonna turn it up and see what it does. Just wanted to verify everything was in the right place. Lay into it a little bit. That's uh, about six pounds boost. Not bad. Look how nice and linear that is. That looks good. That looks real good. DS one's a little different. So connect to a dongle wireless and then uh, you gotta flash the calibrations. So I'm gonna flash the next calibration with more boost in it. See if I can get closer to, closer to a thousand horsepower. down to the last flash. Uh, my last hit, I made exactly 1,000 horsepower, 0.8. Um, I'm gonna make one more hit with just like another pound of boost, just so it's nice and over 1,000. We call it a day. Um, and then uh, go drive it on the street, make sure that uh, it takes the power correctly to the tire and all that. So let's wrap up this DS1 car. Really, really like the DS1 platforms. It's super simple to use. We have a very, very good um, firmware package for it. So anybody that doesn't want to break the bank, still wants flex fuel, make a lot of power, this is definitely the package for you. So let's roll. Anyway, this is a continuation from a couple of days ago. So we were waiting for the ring and pinion, billet gear, Datsun ring and pinion, which is right here. All right, press it in. This is the ring and pinion. This is the pinion, and your bearing. Everything's ready to go in. So we're about to put it in the case. Now we put the, the nut with the lug washer in it. That's it. This is solvent, special fluid to clean up all these donation parts. We have to make sure we put these two little caps in here. The two, that's it, good to go. This is another tool that I made. So it'll hold the chaff, the output chaff in place so it won't turn. Don't leave too much play. Not to tie, not to loose. Just it's good. What I want to do right now, air check. Make sure all the parts are moving, all the forks are moving back and forth. Make sure the gears are fine. The pair right here, this one. It moves. It moves. Let's put it back. Put it back. I made this tool in order to put it in neutral. It's got to be right in the middle. Boom. Neutral. 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 See? Everything smooth, nice and smooth. All right, this is it, it's all that. It's completed, it's completely done, so ready to go. So I just need to put the cover here and that's it, but I gotta put the oil first and then I put the cover and that's it. So it's just completely done. So I signed it. Yeah. I gotta sign sick it sick-ass picture for Mr. Ocean. Why do you have to sign it? Because I shot it. The artist. Mother <laughs> He's acting like he built it. Ah. That's a fancy signature way. Yeah. yeah. Is that right there? Means that I don't miss. Happy Friday. Don't let me catch you at the bar tonight.